What's good fam? Welcome to Tanzania. Karibuni sana Tanzania on a Sunday. Now I'm on a beach. We're gonna have an amazing time exploring the beach today. You'll get a good vibe of what it's like on the beach on a Sunday here in Tanzania. Now, one of the things you'll notice when you come to Tanzania, on the coastal side of the country, every Sunday, one of the things the locals do, the citizens of the country do, is come on the beach and relax with friends and family. It's generally a vibe on the beach every Sunday. So all the beaches from Pangani to Tanga to Dar es Salaam, Kwani region, you'll find people come out in their numbers on Sunday and it's a vibe, baby, that's right. So yeah, we're gonna check out the beach, we're gonna take a casual walk and see what the vibe is like, guys. And I must say, one of the things I like about Coco Beach, you get to, of course, see a lot of the citizens of the country. It's, it's good, you know, if you're interested in interacting with the citizens of Tanzania. And at the same time, you have the opportunity to, of course, enjoy a drink. You can buy food and stuff like that and just kick back, man, and have a good time. So this is the vibe here in Tanzania, in Dar es Salaam. I'm at Coco Beach at the moment. I'm sorry about the wind, you know, of course, that's the, um, the ocean crashing on the shore there. That's, so you know how it is, it's quite windy, but it's still a vibe. There's a lot of people out today in their numbers, man. I'm gonna show you the vibe that I'm seeing in front of me right now. And we're gonna walk right down to the end. And at the end of the beach, you'll find there's a lot of bars as well, where people go and have a beer, wine, whatever. And if you're not into drinking alcohol, there are also the non-alcoholic options as well for you to check out. So yeah, this is the vibe. So for those who are visiting Tanzania, there are different um, beaches on, in Dar es Salaam, but Coco Beach is one of the most popular one. And I guess it's because a lot of people, of course, who live in Tanzania, this is one of the beaches they'll, they'll come to, especially on Sunday. But there are some other beaches as well. I did a vlog on that. And they usually have like a beach party set up every Sunday, and that's in Kigamboni. But you'll have to cross the ferry um, you'll have to cross with the ferry to get to the other side in Kigamboni. It only takes about a 10 minute boat ride on the ferry, so it's not that long. And yeah, you can check out the beach on that side as well. So this is Dar es Salaam. Usually people come out, especially in the evening times, because of course that's when the sun goes down. It's much more cool and stuff like that. Now if you're into surfing, you might find this beach interesting. Um, it's a bit, the tides are a bit rough right now, as you can see. But you still get people, even children, still um, will go closer to the shore. They don't go too far in and just enjoy themselves. So that's cool. So right now where we're walking up to, you'll notice much more people. You're gonna notice that, yeah? Where we started was a bit quiet, but we're actually going into the heart of the beach right now. So you're gonna see a lot of people as we're walking up. And it's a vibe. You can also even do horse riding here as well. So if you wanna give it a try, you can pay a small fee like what, and you can do horse riding. That's a kid on the horse there. And he's just enjoying himself so that's something like families could do if they come out here come on the beach engage in some horse riding especially if you're traveling with children as well
So you can see there's a mix, mixture of people, there are children here, relatively safe. They don't go too far in the water. They just stay on the shore and they just have a good time. So it's definitely child friendly from what I'm seeing. The vibe is definitely, um, it's a cool vibe. No one really seems to just come up to you trying to sell you anything or anything like that. I haven't experienced that. So it's definitely something that it's appreciated. You know, sometimes you go to some beaches when you go on holiday and you get a lot of people coming up trying to sell you stuff. But so far, I haven't had that. You might get people that might invite you to come to the bar area and sit down if you're interested in having a drink or something like that. But it's no pressure. So that's one of the first observations I've made so far being here. So to your left where you're seeing our fruit sellers and they're selling things like apples, ground nuts and also sugar cane. Sugar cane. So, short one today, you know, I'm trying to incorporate a bit more um, Swahili words for you to learn in my videos. So your words for today is, I'll teach you a short phrase. You may come to Tanzania and you may want to buy something. And one of the ways in saying it is to ask, to ask the price of something is Nibegani. Nibegani? Nibegani. And that means what is the price? What is the price? It literally translates as which price, but in the, in the interpretation of Tanzania, you're basically, uh, people who speak Swahili, sorry, you're just asking, what is the price? So, ni bei gani. So you learn two words today, man. Bei and gani. Bei, gani. All right, that's your lesson for today. So try it out when you come to Tanzania. You might go to the shop, you might go to um, somewhere on the beach, you might want to ask the price for something. Then, this is what you do. You, uh, this is how you do it. So we got something going on on the beach up here. I don't know if it's some rappers or or whatever. Go we'll check it out. Right. So you go one of the local rappers, rapping in Kiswahili, singing about his life and stuff like that. So it's a it's a positive vibes. I'm liking it. So these are some of the things you'll see. Sometimes you'll even come to the beach and you might meet people who um they might do like local tarab music you may see dancers as well and when i say tarab music that's like real swahili music you know swahili traditional music which is specifically famous for the coast the coastal regions here in tanzania You can see what's going on over there. It's basically someone's trying to throw a, a ring on the drinks and then whoever gets it 
I guess they get to win some so a drink or something like that. So you see this kind of vibe on the beach. You can buy ice cream as well, that's what I'm seeing. You can buy ice cream and ice lollies from these guys there. They, they, they're on a kind of um, bike and they just post it up. And up there, on the left, that's where some of the bars are at the end of the beach. So this is where people go and sit down. Sometimes they have live band music in the evenings. So it's a vibe. the Maasai boys walking doing their thing so this is the local boat you can go on for a certain fee you can get a live jacket and Go for a cruise, but it's too rough today, man. I when, when, when the waters are so rough, man, no way. The tide needs to be a bit more cool for me. Guys, what do you think about the beach so far? What's your opinion about Cocoa Beach? If you visit Tanzania, would you visit this beach from what you've seen so far? And for those who are in Tanzania or have lived in Tanzania and come to this beach a lot, what do you think about this beach in your opinion? Do you like it or you prefer another beach? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your views on this. And also, yeah, if you got any recommendation of other beach which you think might top Cocoa Beach. Leave a drop a comment in the comment section below, baby. day but it's real cool man the weather is real nice it's around I say around 21 degrees so it's not too hot real chilled and with the breeze it just makes it even more better man some people are just chilling up there on the rocks sitting down there's like a rock seat there where you just sit down and just take in the nice sea breeze it's a vibe man I, I swear like some of these things some people may take it for granted, yeah, but these things, especially when you're coming from some parts of the world, this is really therapeutic, man. You know, you come and clear your mind and just relax on the beach, man. So it's a vibe, baby.
right over there where, where my hands are pointing. I'm not sure if you can see the buildings. That's like Upanga East. A lot of developments happening over there. You've, you also got the Aga Khan Hospital, one of the best hospitals, private hospitals in Dar es Salaam. So these are some of the things you can see from the beach. It's a nice view. You get to really see a good portion of Dar es Salaam as far as the eyes can see. Go right till the end and there's some islands out there also so you can't go wrong with this man this is real nice 